My name is Chris Carswell, editor of Pharmaco Economics, one of the leading journals in the field of pharmaco economics and outcomes research. One of the commonest errors that authors make when reporting the results of an economic evaluation is that they often overinterpret and overhype the results of their study. Clearly, I think there are a number of factors at play here, but I think one of the most important factors is that it's the same group of researchers that are involved not only in the creating of the concept of the study, but also the design, the conduct, the analysis, the reporting, and the interpretation stages. And if you contrast this with a clinical study, where often different groups of researchers are involved at different stages of the process. And I think economic evaluation could certainly benefit from separating the reporting and interpretation stage from the other stages of the conduct of an economic evaluation. I think one of the easiest ways to do this is to consider using the services of an independent medical writer who can ensure that the appropriate inferences are made from the study. But if you do decide to do this, please make sure that you do report that the medical writer was used and the, what, in, what involvement they did have in the process.